transgenerational wealth. Let's hear it. And you see, you got to remember that you come from wealth. Wealth is your origin. It's your birthright. Not poverty. It's your original divine estate. So remember that. Now, Yes, transgenerational wealth. And there's a lot of things that I do to create that. I've created it already. You see, I don't, I don't work for money anymore. It has been years and years and years since I had to work for money. You know, people say, oh, that Reverend Ike serves money. No, I don't. The poor folks serve money more than the rich folks. Because people who don't have money, they, they're, just, they're just worshiping money all the time. Where am I going to get the money? Where am I going to get the money to pay my bill? Where am I going to get money to pay my mortgage? Where am I going to get money to pay for my car note? Money, money, man. Where am I going to get money? The folks who've got it, don't even worry about it. And when you have the realization, I am money, a lot of things happen. Because you experience money on those other levels. Quickly, let me tell you about the last time I went to Paris. The last time I saw Paris. Five people on my staff prepared me that day. And all of my documents and baggage, and packing. Five people escorted me to the airport and one of my assistants went with me. I had just preached again that sermon that Sunday, I am money. As we were landing in Paris, I discovered that they had not put any cash or credit cards on my person. Then the intellect went to work. Herod went to work. <laughs> I'm going to kill this young I am money child. <laughs> said to me, he said, aha, uh -huh. look at you now. You were there back there Sunday preaching to those people saying, I am money. Then we'll find out now, and here you are landing in Paris. You don't even speak the language. You don't even parlez-vous français. And those of us who travel know that most places, they don't even want to see cash. They want a credit card. If you came with a suitcase full of money, they don't want that. They're likely to call the mafia squad if you do that. Like, like I remember when we first went to New York, you know, we taking up all, taking up all that money, you know, and then people just look, oh my God. And somebody was taking care of that for me, had to walk the streets with suitcases of money for days and days before they would find a bank to take it. Walk into banks, all of them, what y'all got going on? Y'all got a floating crap game going on? <laughs> Where'd this money come from? Church! Uh-uh. Won't touch you. <laughs> well, I'll tell you a little secret I never told in public anymore. I, in a certain city that I used to go to every Sunday night, They opened the Federal Reserve Bank for me to make deposits. Places we'd go. The next morning they'd go to the bank, you know, all this. How long did it take you all to take up all this money? Oh, about 10 minutes. Anyway, let me, let, let, let me rush. Now, what was I on this last thing? Huh? Paris, no money. Well, that's when I did one of my calling God's, calling God on the carpet. Every once in a while, I told you I'd, I'd do that. I called God on the carpet. Let me hear you say, "Call God on the carpet." Yeah. 
I said, hey, God, I just got through preaching I am money to those people in church Sunday. I said, and God, I am going to demonstrate this day Oh, my, 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 this day that I am money. And I said, God, if I don't demonstrate it, I ain't never going back to that church to preach. I said, I lay my ministry on the line. So, God, you got to get it or quit it. Well, yes, I do have license. Oh, that's so arrogant. No, it's not. It's radical, like the bishop said. <laughs> he said, command you me. So I said, okay, God. We're landing now. We're about to touch down. And I don't have this cash. And I don't have my wallet. And I don't have any of my credit cards. But God, one thing I know, I am money. Let me hear you say, I know I am money. I know that I am infinite money. In every form, In every form. And, fashion. and fashion, amount, amount. and modus operandi that I need and want for every good purpose and infinitely more. See what I did quickly, what did I do? I read. Remembered. We landed. I looked out the door, and there was a long Peugeot limousine. I'd never seen a Peugeot limousine before, and I don't know if I've seen one since. I looked out the door, and what did I see? Coming for to carry me on. A Peugeot limousine coming after me, coming for to carry me on. <laughs> they ushered me out to this long Peugeot limousine. You know, people were looking and speaking in other tongues. You know? <laughs> I didn't know what they were saying. They were talking in another tongue. And I sat in the limousine. They got my bags and, and put in the limousine and took me off to the hotel. Oh, Herod was talking, trying to kill that young I am money child. See, I'm telling you now because don't you let Herod kill the young child. You see, this consciousness of I am that I've given to you over the, the past three nights, to some of you now, it's a young child. Don't let Herod kill I am money, child. See, it's just a child yet. Now, it's going to grow up and be a son. Yes, sir. Oh, sir. That's good. Yes. Say to the people next to you, don't let anybody kill your I am money, child. You see, circumstances were going to do that. I mean, here I am. And I, 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 by then, I, I just kept saying, I am money. Let me hear you say it. I am money. You see, that's speaking the word only. See, that's one way that you do it. You just keep speaking the word. Let me hear you say again, I am money. I am money. I am money. I am money. When you get home, get all your bills and your bank books and your stocks and your bonds and your mortgage, everything that has anything to do with money, get the church bills. Have an I am money service in the church office. And call everybody that's on the church payroll, all the volunteers, and pile everything that represents the finances of the church in your office or up here on the altar. I don't care where. And call them. And say, come on here and let's prophesy. Walk 
around it and, and, and shout, I am money for at least seven minutes. March around those bills and those financial statements and plans and goals. Shouting, I am infinite money. Let's hear it. Ah, and those walls will come tumbling down. So I kept saying, I am money. I got to wind up here now. And they took me to the hotel, walked in, walked up to the desk, gave them my passport because I didn't know French. Lo and behold, something happened, never happened before. They checked me in, didn't ask for cash, didn't ask for a credit card. Who you are will tell everybody, will introduce you and identify you to everybody that you need to be identified to. Without you opening your mouth, there will be a subconscious to subconscious communication from the superconscious. The Father in heaven will tell whoever needs to know. Give him what he wants. Don't ask him any stupid questions about credit cards and how you're going to pay for this. <laughs> Something will just tell them, no, there's somebody this way, no, you shouldn't do that. <laughs> you know, you may start an international incident. You 